PC WizKid here with part two of the AMD Gaming Mini PC that I put together here in part one. All of these components, as you can see here, the BitPhoenix Phenon case with nice lighting in there to highlight that graphics card, the Sapphire Toxic Edition, that Tri-X fan going on there on that R. 9270X, the AMD A10, the 7850K Kaveri APU, this processor here is running at 4.6 gigahertz, that's right, you heard it, it's steady and it's going very nicely and smooth on this MSI motherboard, the A88XI using the AC Wi-Fi built in and the memory is running really fast there at 2133 CL10 times. Here are the specs on that Sapphire card. Again, I have it slightly overclocked from the out of the box overclocked. So it's pre and post and even more overclocked as you can ever do in a tiny little PC like this one. The uh, temperatures, let's talk about that. On um, average use, I guess 44 degrees Celsius on full blown 100% load, it'll shoot up the, the uh, processor to 53 degrees Celsius. Of course, I have the MSI control center there uh, monitoring and uh, optimizing the fan speeds appropriately for that uh, 53 degrees Celsius on 100% load. Then again, if you don't run it at 100% load, you'll be running it roughly in about 30 to um, 35 on idle and uh, about 45 degrees on uh, average load. The GPU itself, 39 to 40 degrees Celsius on idle there on average use and 68 degrees Celsius on full-blown 100% uh, load with all the uh, core and megahertz there at the fullest capacity. So you can see there. Now, when it comes to benchmarks, let's start off with the ADA64 uh, CPU Queen benchmarks to give you an idea. If I had it not overclocked, it's way at the bottom. I overclocked it and shoots up the score all the way up to here and it compares to those other types of processors that you can see there on the list, the score. So my system is ranking quite nicely considered that uh, I overclocked it to give it that boost. PC Mark 8, the creative um, benchmarks here are 5246. If I compare that online with other systems, it comes close to, I guess, an Intel Core i5 4670K, okay, running the same GPU, the R9270X. So same um, graphics card, different processor, gives you a very similar score to mine, close enough on that um, Intel Core i5. The 3 d Mark Firestrike, score of 5573 if I were to compare that online with other types of machines running the same GPU more or less you can see here it comes close to different types of processors actually still the 4670k from Intel is there on that list and a couple of other ones there from AMD as you can see it comes pretty close and why because I overclocked it to 4.6 gigahertz of course if you had it at default it wouldn't come close to this necessarily but there it is the Intel Core i5 46 70k it seems to uh, rival that now looking at the uh, haven benchmark 4.0 you can see there the average frames per second at 1080p 53.6 on high settings you get nice frames per second 53.6 and on the extreme preset it's going everything full blown 39.8 frames per second is the average right there okay so very nice results this is a machine that i evaluated it as playing on high settings is really what you want and you can see here on battlefield 4 again high settings is where you want to be so you can get a nice 70 uh frames per second on average high quality settings not on ultra necessarily tomb raider however you can run that on ultra high uh settings or high as you can see there benchmarks are very very nice and smooth Lara Croft doing very nicely there. Here's Sleeping Dogs, if you ever played this one. Here are the high and also the extreme um, benchmarks that I got on that one. Okay, so a little bit of a variety on the games here so you can get an idea. Crisis 3 really pushes things to the limit. 1080p, high quality settings. You get there an average of 56 frames per second. Put it on very high and of course it drops down. Alien vs. Predator, here are some more benchmarks, as you can see on high settings, 87.2. This system rocks, again, if you're running things on high settings, not ultra necessarily, but on high, it does a really good job keeping things cool, quiet, efficient, you know, this is a really nice system. If you're wondering about 
some of these parts more specifically. I made separate video re reviews on them. You can just click on one of these images to watch that video review. I'll add um, a link to the parts so you can see the pricing on that one below the video. So click on that if you're interested in finding more about where to buy the parts and the uh, total cost. Comment below. Let me know what you think. And again, I'd like to thank all of these sponsors for providing all the parts. And thank you for watching.